Hi guys, thanks for joining me. This video tutorial is for a new little thing that we've got out um, over November and December and it's for the little Merry Mistletoe kit and this isn't a kit or anything that you can buy, this is our free gift. If you purchase um, in the shop over £30 from the 15th of November through to I think it's the 27th of December you'll get this in with your purchase. So what this makes is this lovely little complete sprig of mistletoe. As always, I'll quickly run through everything and then we'll hop straight into the project. In the kit, you get the template, you get your fluff, you get your two little mistletoe berries, some red ribbon, your florist tape, and a bunch of 26 gauge wires. What you're going to need to complete this project is your felting surface, your felting needles, a pair of scissors, perhaps some pliers and some wire cutters. And as always, I've got my trusty little pocket scale because we are gonna be using weights and measures to complete the leaves. So that's everything you need. We'll get started on making our little merry mistletoe project. So to begin, what I've done is I've weighed myself out around 0.3 grams of the fluff. And I've got myself one of the little 26 gauge wires and these have already been cut down for you. So when you've got about 0.3 grams, you're just gonna break that roughly in half. And we're gonna start by filling up half of the template so stuff your wool in but you want to allow some of this sort of frizz outside of the template then grab your needle and i'm using my 40 spiral and we start by going around the edges and as we go around the edge you'll see it, it'll pull all of this fluff in but we want a good even spread And I'm very lightly tacking it to my surface just to help hold everything in place while we get it all done in the template. It's always better to concentrate on the edges because we can always add a tiny bit more of the wool. You've got plenty of wool in your kit to make this entire project. So that's all down in nice and loosely. As you can see, it's ever so lightly stuck to my mat. So I'm just gonna tickle it off. And I always find that it's better to put the template down and then put the fluff back in rather than having the fluff down and trying to stuff your template over the top. So it's just a little tip that I find a little bit easier. And don't worry if it does come out of the template, just pop it back down in work those edges and then I'm just going to go all over very lightly and again I'm not penetrating my surface very much at all this surface that I'm working on I've got my usual foam and I'm now working on the flat mat which is going to be in the shop very very shortly this has been developed over a little while and it's a great surface it's really nice and dense but it doesn't break your needle but there'll be a separate video for that so I'm just working all over and you want it loosely felted you know there's there's nothing particularly firm about this at all So very light tack to the surface. And then what you're going to do is grab your wire and you want to make a little loop that's just in here. Okay, it doesn't need to be particularly big. We just want a little loop around this area here. So I'm going to bend over 
the end. Like that. And just make a teeny tiny little loop. Like so. The reason that we're going to make a loop is so that we don't have to use any glue. We're going to use the loop and fibres to hold this in place. And just bending over the end there, make sure that we've got a nice long wire for our stem. So the usual wiring hole in the end. Bring your wire down. And that's, if I can get it to lay flat, that's about what you want right there. Just a little something like that. Okay, this next little thing is something that I do, which is just grab a tiny pinch, bring it together and felt through the centre of that loop and then use the fluff either side. And what that's going to do is just help hold this wire in place. I've done this a few times now and occasionally my wire has ended up moving as I've been felting. So just by doing that little step of kind of pinning that loop in place means when we come to put this in, which is now, that wire will stay in place a lot better. So other half of my wall now, pop that in and again around the edges first. I'm going fairly lightly but you can hear that crunch as I hit that surface but I'm not driving. I'm driving through my fibres on the bottom, but not into my surface. You can tell the festive season has started. I have sparkly nails. <laughs> oh my God, I have glitter on the ends of my hands. Okay, so... That's just lightly felted, so I'm just going to lift it and the template, just so it's not stuck to my surface. I'm going to go over it again. You'll find the firmer it felt, the less it sticks to the surface. So what I do now is felt it a bit wiggle it felt it a bit and wiggle it and that will stop it from sticking excessively as well and you can see it's working itself nicely down into the template I've stayed with the 40 spiral um, throughout it's a really fine needle But you don't want anything too um, too thick or too aggressive with this project. There we go, all over, and that's where we're at. So once you've got. You've got it to about this point. Still a little fluffy. It's a little bit chunky. And we don't want it too thin. We will be ironing these, but we're not going to be ironing, ironing them really flat. If you can see, I've still kept some of the chunk of this. I think if these were too thin, they, they just wouldn't. They wouldn't look right, but I am going to work over this a little bit more. I 
and I'm going to use a compacting technique. Once you've got them, the fibres in, just tiny, tiny little stabs. I'm just using about that much of my needle, so I'm not even really going all the way through. But lots of tiny little gentle stabs. And you can probably see that it's compacting it down and firming up that felt. Obviously, do be careful, you do have wires, she says. <laughs> and on cue, gets her needle stuck. There we go. If you do get your needle stuck, don't just try and yank it out. Just give it a little wiggle, gently, gently, and it should come out. So there we go, that's... All nicely compacted. I'm just going to turn it over now and compact the other side. And you do want to hold, you want to felt this quite firmly, but we don't want it really thin. There we go. That looks a little better. There you have it. One mistletoe leaf so you're going to need four of these exactly the same way so that you've got these nice long stems little loop of wire 0.3 grams and felt them all to about the same firmness they are a little spongy but they're not they're not loosely felted they are quite firm if you bring it out of the template and felt a little, you know, felt around these edges. If you feel that you've got too many fuzzies, just get the tiny tip of your thinnest needle and just tame the frizz. But you only want to be using the, the real kind of just first barb or two. Remember, if you, if you actually felt that way, you can see what's happening. I'm starting to get that indent. So if you want to tidy up your edges, we will be ironing and we will be trimming. So don't worry too much if it's just a little bit of stray frizz that you've got going on. The iron and the scissors will take care of it. So that's where I'm at. There. I think his, his felters, we are inherent fiddlers. <laughs> Can't leave it alone. Because I felt it outside of the template, I'm just going to pop it back in. Because any work you do outside of the template will distort it slightly. But then you've always got your template to come back to. There, I'm going to leave it alone now. So four of those, and then we're going to come back and start assembling and making the beads. So I've made my four leaves. And I'm going to make my berries. And to do that, I'm going to grab your little berry and one of your wires. This is the fiddly bit. So run the wire through the bead and get it to about the middle. Like so. Then pinch and cross those wires over right at the back. You may want to use pliers for this, it's entirely up to you. I'm trying to do this so that my fingers aren't in the way <laughs> and my sparkly nails. So 
once you've got them crossed over twist the wire you want to get one little tight twist right up near the top and then I find it easier to twiddle the bead, but you do this however you want. It doesn't have to be a tight twist. You, know, you just want to make sure that you encapsulate that bead so that it's not you know, falling about. But that's basically all you need for the bead. So there's two. And there's our four leaves. So that's what you need. So what we're going to do now, we're going to very lightly press um, the leaves and then we're going to assemble the whole thing. So what I've got here is my little travel iron and this is made by a company called Geronic and this is a 375 watt travel iron and it's a steam iron. So I found that this is working out really well for me and I don't have to get the big iron out. But... In previous videos, you would have seen me, you know, put pressure on the leaves and, you know, really sort of thin them out to make those nice um, thin petals and leaves. For this project, I don't want to do that. I want to retain some of the thickness of the leaf, but I do want to create that nice smooth surface. So I'm going to puff it with a little bit of steam and I'm just going to run the iron. I'm not putting any pressure on it at all. Just turn it over little puff of steam and just run it over a couple of times each side and there you can see that's made that surface really nice and smooth so we're going to do that for all of the leaves and then we'll start assembly once you have them all ironed You may still have some little fluffy bits. So at this point, I like to focus. There we go. Just go round and take off the real wild little frizzy bits. And do that on both sides. We're not really cutting into the leaf, just giving it a light trim. You can you know, felt them in uh, rather than just trim them. Um, I prefer to just trim them, it's quicker. So there you go, one very nice, smooth, lovely mistletoe leaf. Once you've got your leaves trimmed up we're going to start the final part of the assembly now so you're going to need your florist tape and this florist tape matches this wall the best um, it's not the the green one that we we've got in the shop um, it's a completely different one because I didn't like um, the dark green one it just it was too contrast so grab your florist tape And just break off, I'm breaking off about eight centimetres of tape, it's really irrelevant, but just a little bit. What I'm going to do is just put a tiny touch of the florist tape, a single wrap, just on the end or on the top of here, so that when the leaves are parted you don't see the wire and it kind of bulks out ever so slightly so you've got that stem but I shouldn't cut this don't rip it <laughs> so pull and stretch 
and that kind of activates the tape so it will now stick to itself. Hold it and wrap it round a little bit. That's it, that's all I'm doing. And then I'm just going to cut it off real close and squish it down. And you can see that this is a little bit loose. It's sliding up and down my wire. That's absolutely fine. Because the wires are going to be wound. I've got this little tag of tape. So I'm just going to cut that off. And that's what you're left with. So I'm going to do that one, one more time on camera. So hold it. wrap it round on itself I'm just going to go down a tiny touch snip that off and just wrap that in there so that's what you're doing on those four so I'm going to quickly do the other two. Now I've got that touch of tape on each of the ends that was my loose one so I've just really pinched and rolled. I'm going to end up with that and for assembly you put your two leaves together and then, is it still slipping? That's okay. I'm going to wind it, which will also hold that tape in place. So light twists all the way down the wire, like that. And then you end up with your first pair of leaves. So do that again, put your leaves together, cross them over and then just wind down and you can see just having that touch of florist tape in there really does provide that, that bridge and makes it look more like a stem rather than a dark green wire. Okay, so that's the two. So I'm just going to ditch my foam mat so I've got a bit more room. Okay, so we're going to recreate this guy. So I've got one leaf that's slightly higher than the other. So pop them together and just bring one up like that. Just have a look. At the moment we're just looking, we're just doing an initial test run. So I think something like that is probably going to work quite well. This is going to need florist tape now. So grab your florist tape. I'm going to cut off a piece that's about as long as my wire. It's generally I find a good rule of thumb for small things like this. Pull and stretch. So I'm going to overlap up here. I'll just put my wires, my, um, my leaves back together. So hold it, bring it round and lock it on itself. And then I find pinching the tape and rolling the wire with my other hand works best for me. Because you want, if you just wrap, it tends to be a little loose, so you really want that pinch. That's fine. That's really all I need. 
and then I'm going to add a bit more tape to this one so not much pull and activate the tape overlap hold lock it on itself and then you can twiddle it like so okay so back to where we were that's about I think where I want my things to be it's going to the berries go in this V part so yeah I think that's quite nice so I'm going to hold it where I want my two sprigs to part and then I'm just going to wrap those two together and don't worry about this wire and stuff at the moment we are just no that's I don't like that <laughs> I've changed my mind I actually want that one to be a bit shorter so I'm just going to unwind it pull that down a little bit more and then wind it back up again and this would all get wrapped in the tape as well that's better yes okay happy now <laughs> grab our little beads and these are going to nestle in there so you can wrap this little bit with a touch of tape too because the, the beads are so close I tend to just wrap them first and then wrap over the whole lot so I'm going to hold my bead right there and wrap that first one around and then I'm going to flip the whole thing over and put this bead on this side I'm going to offset it ever so slightly this is going to be the sort of the front view um, this is going to be a little sprig to, to wear as a brooch or something like that so don't forget you have a back view as well in fact if I put that one up a bit higher you're going to see that wire so I'm just going to cut off a few centimeters of florist tape wrap it round on itself lock it off Fine. Just gonna pinch and roll that right up the top there. So now I can put that a little further up and we won't have a dark green wire. Yeah, I think that looks nice. I'm going to wrap it round all the way down to the bottom. So now what I'm going to do is cover this section in florist tape. So first you want to decide, you know, how long you want your little sprig stem to be. Um, I don't want them too long. So I'm going to grab my wire cutters and I'm going to cut them off ever so slightly longer than I actually want so I'm going to have it about here so I'm going to cut it off about 10 mil 
further down. Because I'm going to come in with my pliers, twist it tightly, and just crimp these back up. So that we've got a definite bend at the bottom rather than a bunch of wires. You could tape up the end, um, but I don't want the bulk of extra tape, so uh, just snip them off and bend them back up. Okay, so a bit more tape, and you've got a whole meter of, of tape in your kit, so there's plenty. So I'm going to start right up underneath these berries, bring it round, lock it on itself. And I'm going to pinch and twist all the way down to the end, just past the end, and then back up and I kind of squish the end there. There we go. Just one little assembled sprig of mistletoe. I've got my little piece of ribbon. And this is where I turn into all fingers and thumbs. <laughs> Decide where you want your little bow. It took me forever to get that little bow on there. <laughs> so this tutorial may have been the fastest one I've ever done, except for when I got to the bow tying, which then made it three hours long. Come on, bow. No, <laughs> it doesn't want to do it. My fingers are sticky from the florist tape and I'm sticking to the ribbon. I might have to do this off camera so that I can insert some expletives as it is uncooperative. It really doesn't want to play for me today. Right, I'm just going to do this very quickly off camera so that I can actually hold it um, rather than fighting with it on camera. Of course, as soon as I turn the camera off, I do it first time, but <laughs> there we go. So all I'm going to do now is just snip off my little bits of ribbon like so, a nice little pointy end. And all that is left to do now is just to give your leaves some movement and just shape them. And because you've got that lovely little loop of wire in there, you can do all kinds of crazy things like so. So there you have it. There is the Merry Mistletoe kit. The template's in the kit as well. You get absolutely everything that you need to make this entire little project. And how wonderfully cute and festive is that? So don't forget, this is the free gift um, for November and December. And if you have any questions, of course, do feel free to shoot me over an email. Thank you very much for spending your time with me today. I hope you have enjoyed this project. I would be delighted to see uh, your makes from this. Please do subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon and you'll receive notifications when I upload new videos. And as always, I wish you all a very crafty day.